guys, how you doing? So today I'm going to be talking about Jesus is awesome. He truly is, guys. He saved us. He is going to do a whole lot for us. He's going to take us to the place where we need to go. He is awesome. So I have three scriptures that are talking about this awesome subject. The first scripture I'd like to share with you guys is John 19, verse 8. When Pilate heard this, he was even more afraid. People will always be afraid of what they don't understand. When people see Jesus, if they're fleshy, they don't want to accept him. They just want to stay in their own little lives. They don't want to receive Jesus into their lives because they feel convicted and they want to feel comfortable. People just are insulted when people try to share Jesus with them. And that's why they're afraid of Jesus, because of their sin. But they don't understand that Jesus forgives. And Jesus will always be there to forgive. He's awesome. He's there to regenerate your spirit, and He's there to help you on your journey. He's there to use, use you to bring people to Him. It may seem like you're not going anywhere right now, but that doesn't mean in the future that you won't. You will go to many places and share the word of the Lord. If you just stay faithful to Him, Jesus will use you in a mighty way. Just remember that. And there will be people that will be afraid of Jesus, know that He's real, and won't at all accept that He is Messiah and that deny him that they don't need him because that's what they think but the truth is that they do need Jesus and without Jesus they're going to die don't let them deceive you Jesus is real so keep him in your in your heart all right second scripture John 7 verse 16 whoever seeks speaks on his own, does so to gain personal glory. But he who seeks the glory of the one who sent him is a man of truth. There is nothing false about him. People will... People who are sinners who have gone through hell and who have done the worst, those are the people that God chooses because they can relate to people who are going through the exact same thing. People will think that they, people who think that they don't deserve, who know they don't deserve God's glory or God's, I mean, God's grace. They're right. But God gives it freely. He gives it to those who want Him. He says, here, I'll forgive you. I want you to accept me as your Lord and Savior and share me with the world. Jesus wants to be your father. He wants to adopt you. He knows that you've been going through a lot of things. And he's there to send you on the most important mission of your life. And he'll reward you. It's, it's those who worry too much that think that they're not doing enough for Jesus. That the, and that they're failing. Those are the people that truly love Jesus and that want to be used by him. Those who worship Him with their whole heart and confess their sins, those are the ones that truly are in relationship with Jesus and that their, and their worship is real. They really want to worship Jesus and they really want to get closer to Him. That's why they go to church. That, not because of tradition. And they don't go in their rooms to pray because... It's a tradition. They want to go because they want to get closer to Jesus. Because Jesus offers that relationship. The people, there are people that boast about their worship who haven't gone through hell, who haven't had their life torn to shreds. Those are the people that think that they're better than some people. Just because they haven't sinned as much as them, or they haven't, no, they've sinned, as much as them, but they haven't gone through hell like they have. They have, they're like, oh, 
I'm better than you. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. I sinned. But I didn't sin as bad as you. Nobody's better than you. Don't let them make you believe that they, they're any better than you. Just because they have a fancy car or a nice house or nice income and a, you know, all that stuff. Just because they have more stuff does not make them more holy. The relationship with Jesus and the love that you have in your heart for people who are lost, who, who don't know Jesus yet, those are the holies. Those are the, God, the people that God has chosen to share love, His love with the world. Now, I'm not saying this stuff is bad. You know, if you're wealthy and you have the heart of Jesus and you have the heart of love to share with the world, then that's good. What I'm saying is that doesn't make a person holy, having more stuff. The heart of love makes them holy. Jesus will use you. You are women and men of truth if you have the heart of love and, that, and if you keep confessing your sins and seeking God's glory, seeking a way to give God the glory, looking for something to do while you wait for your breakthrough to come, not lazing around, waiting for something to do. Those who are waiting for something to do, for God to assign them to a mission or a message, those are the people that have a future with Jesus. Those who are lazing around, not doing anything while they wait, those are the people that won't get anything. I feel sorry for them. But God has something for you. Just keep pressing into Him. Alright, third and final scripture, John 7 verse 12. Among the crowds, there was widespread whispering about Him. Some said, he is a good man. Others replied, no, he deceives the people. People will always, and I've said this, there will be people that are with Jesus and there will be people that aren't with Jesus, that refuse to accept him, that are against him. There are people back in the Bible times that called him a blasphemer and just because he called him, he claimed himself the Son of God, who he was. They called him a criminal and a false leader. They didn't worship him. They didn't accept him as their Lord and Savior. They they didn't know because they thought that he was breaking the law of God just because he did stuff differently because he had mercy for people who were sinning that's why they thought that he wasn't God because Moses had the law if you commit adultery then you die but Jesus is here today to offer you grace and a new life people don't see how awesome Jesus is Jesus is awesome Everything he does is awesome, and it's for our good. He may send trouble, but that's just to strengthen us. And he will... Bad times may come, but good times will follow for those who follow Jesus and are faithful to him. Jesus wants to give you something great. He wants to take you places you never even thought you would go. And he wants to bring people into your life that you never knew would be saved and that you never knew would be a part of your life. You may have enemies back in the past and they become friends in the future because of Jesus. Jesus is awesome and he's going to do amazing works this year. Jesus is awesome. What he did for us, he died for our sins. He carried on our sins and he cleansed all of us with his blood. And now we can take on the name of Christ. And he's going to take us to his home and make us be like him. Just remember that. Jesus has something for you. He is awesome. Remember that Jesus is awesome because he is. 
always give him the glory in the good times and in the bad. Just remember that. Jesus loves you. Alright, so guys, I hope you got some out of this. I'm going to close in prayer. I thank you, Lord, for giving me this awesomeness. Thank you, Lord, for revealing to me how awesome you are, Lord. Please, Lord, let them take this. Let them know that you are awesome, Lord, and let them share you with the world, Lord. Please, Lord, let them see who you are inside, Lord, not who everyone says that you are. Not that you're a cruel God, but that you're a loving and kind God. And always there to forgive and always there to redeem, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for sending me on this journey, Lord. Let it be let it lead somewhere, Lord. Please, Lord, let it let please Lord come alive in their hearts, Lord. Come alive in this world, Lord. Please, Lord, let them share your word of life with the world, Lord, and with people who are lost in the darkness. Please, Lord. Let their, let their minds be cleared of any distractions that may have been hindering their relationship with you, Lord. Please forgive me my sins, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for giving me this message and for letting me free teach on Daniel's Plain and Simple, Lord. Just let them, let them be joyous in you, Lord, knowing that they have something from you, Lord, and that you are awesome, Lord, and that you're here to save, Lord, that you're not here to kill or to destroy. I love you, Lord. I praise you in your awesome, glorious, beautiful name. You're worth more to me than anything, Lord. Please, Lord, let them see you who you are. I praise you in your name. Amen. All right, so guys, remember, I'm just plain and simple. This message was given to you by a plain and simple person, but he is not. He is beautiful, and he is lovely, and he is glorious, and he is awesome. He truly is. He's an awesome God. Just remember that. You know times are tough? Praise God in the storm. He'll get you through. See you guys. Please leave a like and subscribe. God bless.